Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa aka Curly Top and today I just wanted to bring to you a really quick and really simple 10 to 15 minute recipe. Um, so if you'd like to see how to recreate this dish, please keep watching. So majority of the work just goes into chopping up um, the raw ingredients which would be bell peppers, onions, and jalapenos. Everything else would just be a quick dump into the bowl. Um, so if there's anything else that needs to be mentioned later on then I will but I'll just do a majority of this. two-thirds I want to say of a really large white onion and I usually use a whole jalapeno but I only had a half this time so I kept the seeds in um, and yeah that's it apple cider vinegar um, as well as red wine vinegar because I didn't have that much red wine vinegar left and then of course seasonings of your choice. The most important seasoning though which is mandatory um, for this recipe is chili powder. You're going to use a good amount of that um, because it does give it the main flavor. actually prepped this dish I forgot to grab a tomato from the store so the following day I went ahead and purchased a tomato it was probably about a medium to large size tomato and I um, took a half of that I scooped out the seeds and all the watery parts of it and I just chopped up the meats of the tomato and added that to the dish I added about a cup between the red wine vinegar and the apple cider vinegar. The oil, I want to say I added about maybe a third of a cup of oil. And the coconut palm sugar, I want to say I added about three quarters of a cup. Um, and for this dish, the longer you have it sitting, the better. And any other seasonings that you want to add, you can add it, of course, based on your taste. And lastly, um, but most importantly, the chili powder, I added about two heaping spoonfuls of chili powder. Um, that's the main ingredient or one of the main ingredients and it gives it a lot of flavor. But besides that, any other seasonings that you want to add, that's completely up to you. by itself as a dip or you can do like what I did and add it to a baked potato or a salad whatever it is that you choose to add it to it will bring a lot of flavor and it's absolutely freaking delicious let me know if you try it and if you like it so that's pretty much it um thanks to those of you that made it to the end of this video if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them in the comment section below um once again i really appreciate that and until next time bye <laughs>